and we are back and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate the Apollo filter in Adobe Photoshop. So I've got an original right here, I'll copy that and we'll use the copy. And you can see I've got another one that I've titled stars. So we need that on top but I make it invisible first. You will find both images via the description links below. First adjustment is to add a black and white adjustment layer and we'll go down with the opacity. The exact value depends on the image that you use but something around 30 to 60 percent should be fine for most photos. The second adjustment is a photo filter adjustment layer and we will change the filter to green and then play around with the density. Once again the exact value depends but 20 to around 60 percent should work here for most photos and you can also play around with the opacity but I want to keep it to 100% here and adjust it via the density. Now let's get to the stars image. I'll make that visible and then I change the blending mode to color dodge and I want to go down with the opacity here as well and depending on the stars image that you have you need to resize it or size it down whatever you've got. I want to make it a bit bigger to have bigger spots. So press Ctrl T, resize it, and then I press Enter. It should be fine. The next adjustment will go back to the original and then use the filter lens correction custom. And add a vignette. So I go down with the amount, and that way I've got a black vignette, and I click on OK. And that's basically it. Let us compare to the original. Or maybe I'll go down a little bit more with the green. So I go to the photo filter and go down with the density once more. But that should be fine. So in the original, the Apollo filter has also a frame. We can create that. So just open a new layer. And I'll rename that to frame. Then I use Marky to select it all. And right click stroke, change the color to white, make sure you've got the location set to inside and the width 15 pixels is fine for this photo size but once again you'll have to adjust it depending on the photo that you use. I don't like it with the frame so I'll get rid of it by making it invisible. And this is how you can recreate the Apollo filter in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.